beginning of my study to start with basically what is intellectual property from the morning you would be hearing like intellectual property intellectual property what does that actually mean it refers to creations of mind so let it be an invention let it be literary or artistic work or let it be symbols let it be names or images so anything that is a creation of mind can be protected using the laws and those are known as intellectual property i'll just play a small video explaining what is intellectual property Okay, so as I was uh, said to you, the video just says that intellectual property means uh, anything that a person thinks or any innovative thoughts that a person is going to have. So, with this brief introduction about what is intellectual property, we will see how it is going to be different from the regular property. So, initially in the olden days, uh, uh, it has been considered that people who are very rich with a lot of um, properties that is a physical properties cars or gold they were considered to be very rich but as the time evolves or as the time goes on in this century people who are having a very good amount of knowledge are considered to be more wealthier for say example we can see this elon musk or bill gates all those people they have become rich just because they had the thought so he had the thought of deriving some company known as tesla and uh, microsoft or uh, Apple, all those are just their intellectual thoughts or just ideas that has blossomed in their minds. They were not wealthy or they are not wealthy in terms of their gold or they don't have rich houses, but they had the idea which has helped them to monetize it and then develop to this particular state. So this is the basic difference between the property and the intellectual property. Property is something that is physical and it is tangible. A person can touch and feel it. Whereas intellectual property is a person's idea which is there within the person's brain. So we cannot touch it or feel it, but we can still monetize it and then make more money out of it. So why does it actually matter for me? Why should I read about intellectual property rights or intellectual property? So that doesn't, it is not there in the curriculum of dentistry. Then why should I know about it? The first thing that I would say is there is always reward for intellectual creation. Let it be a monetary reward. That is, I create something, I sell it off, and then I take money from the product. Yes, there is a monetary reward, so I should know about. The second thing is, it is also going to be helping you in professional life. That is, once you're going to have more patents to your credits, or you're going to invent something that is very groundbreaking, or that is going to change the thoughts of everyone in the dentistry, ultimately, you will be praised, or uh, it is going to give you a small hike in your profession. Let it be in terms of... Uh, uh, or to tell a moral right or you might feel better about it also the third thing is recognition ultimately you will be recognized in your field so if you're going to invent something new in dentistry ultimately people in dentistry will start recognizing you oh, this is the person who has invented that so the small recognition is always there so uh, when we are talking he has invented he has given that it is not this type of invention even the classification that was given by gv black so they are all just examples of copyrights. They are all they are intellectual creations. They have seen a lot of carries. They have just categorized them into different things and then they have given a classification. So that is the best example for a copyright. So they are being recognized for the copyright or their intellectual property that they have done for that particular society of dentistry. The second reason is that it is going to help you or it is going to be encouraging and then it is going to help us in the growth. So as you have seen earlier, growth can be in terms of monetary or in terms of professional growth. Encouragement, if you see creativity, creativity is always increased. Let's see, uh, let's think about us in dentistry itself. No? So when we come up with newer ideas and newer thoughts about anything, we are always encouraged in the college and then college is going to acknowledge this and then they are going to push it up. 
for uh, for us to work more in that particular idea rather than using the older ideas and then doing the same thing again and again newer ideas will always be increased and appreciated the second thing is in terms of small industries and all a newer variety of uh, production or more attractive uh, features that we are going to bring in a particular product is going to help us in the growth of that particular industry the last one is recognition of protection that is uh, to ensure the protection and recognition of unwritten and unrecorded cultural expressions also this intellectual property is going to help that is okay a person has search a person has studied very much so he is thinking and then he is getting benefited so intellectual property doesn't benefit only people who are going to be thinking or who are very much studious or who have knowledge in any one particular field it is also going to help people from tribal regions that is if you see uh, we are more inclined towards herbal medicine and other thing you know so there might be different kinds of uh, medicines that has been followed or uh, cultural uh, cultural beliefs that are being followed in uh, different parts of india or different uh, tribal areas which can be adopted by us and then we can also follow it but then when we are more successful in our practice we should donate some amount of money to that particular uh, people who has given that particular thought for us so in those ways intellectual property is going to help a individual person in terms of monetary benefits professional growth and recognition second thing is it is going to help the college and the person because always a creativity or a new thing is going to be increased in terms 